Now watch carefully, Pom. I'll take this piece of paper and tear it here and here. And now I need some yellow tissue paper. Scrunch it up, scrunchy, scrunchy, scrunchy. And ta-da! A flower! <laughs> oh, hello! We're making flowers. A oh, pretty flower. Oh, you're a busy thimble today, Flurry. A pom busy, Bassy. <laughs> and you too, Pom. You're both very busy thimbles. Oh, oh, do you want to smell my flower, Bessie? Oh, yes, please, Flory. It's such a pretty flower. Oh, that smells beautiful too. Uh, Pom smell flower. Uh, <laughs> a flower is stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Pom, you're wearing the flower on your nose. <laughs> oh, wear <a> flower. <laughs> oh, you can wear the flowers <laughs> on your nose. <laughs> no, Bob, not on your nose. I'm going to make a necklace of flowers for you to wear. <laughs> necklace. Round and round the tinkling tree, like a blue galoo. A one step, two steps. I'm going to tickle you! <laughs> <laughs> again! Again! <laughs> uh, round and round the tinkling tree, like a blue galoo. A one step, two steps. I'm going to tickle you! <laughs> <laughs> Getting the bimbling feeling. I'm going to find something. Hooray! I can feel a twinkling. I can hear a sound. It's telling me there's something waiting to be found. Where is it? Where is it? What could it be? I think it might be over there. Let's go and see. Um, there is something to be found here, but where is it? Is it here? No. Is it there? Oh, can you see it anywhere? Uh, ooh, what's that? Um... Oh. oh, what have you found? What have you found? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, it's very long. Mm. Um, and it rolls around and around. Oh, <laughs> like Roly Mo. Oh, oh Roly Mo. <laughs> roll, roll, Roly Mo. Roll it like a log. <laughs> Up and down and all around and give it to a frog. <laughs> oh. Ooh, uh, is there anything inside, Fimbo? I'll have a look. Can you see anything? Uh, no, I can't see anything. Maybe I could blow in it. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, what was that? Oh, it was me. I was blowing down the tube like this. <gasps> <laughs> That's a good noise. Hello, you two. What's that funny noise? Oh. Hello, Bessie. Hello, Bessie. Look what I found. <gasps> <laughs> well, fluff me feathers. That looks like a cardboard tube. And here's something else you can blow into. This is a musical instrument. It's a trumpet. You blow into it and it makes a noise. Different instruments make different sounds. It sounds lovely. It's called a flute. <laughs> That's like the noise I was making. These funny things are called kazoos. 
They sound funny too, Bessie. <laughs> kazoo, kazoo, kazoo. <laughs> oh, it's a band. And some more trumpets. Da -da 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 -da. Well, this is going to be my trumpet, and we're going to make some music. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, play that trumpet, you funky thimble. <laughs> 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 Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had ten thousand men. He marched them up to the top of a hill, then he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. <laughs> and when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. <laughs> oh, there's nothing I like better than a good tune to get me toes tapping. <laughs> oh, you like the music too, don't you, my little chickadee? <laughs> <laughs> Look, Bomb, I'm sticking the pieces of paper together like this. It's going to be a necklace for you. Oh, oh, what's that? Tune for me. Sing, sing. Oh, the grand old Duke of York. He had ten thousand flowers. He stuck them here, he stuck them there, he stuck them everywhere! <laughs> oh, look, Pom, here's your necklace. Oh, thank you, Zoe. Shall we go and see who's making that music? Oh, yes. Sing, sing! Yay! <laughs> Together, and I'll play my trumpet. Hello, trumpet. It's really a tube, Pom. Oh, hello, tube. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 we could march up and down. Oh, up and down, up and down. Oh, march, march. Up, down, up, down. Oh, up, down, up, down. Oh, that's right, Pom. A one, two, one, two, oh, one, two. two. One, Two. Oh, come on, everyone! One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Off we go! Yeah. <laughs> oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had ten thousand men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up! <gasps> and when they were down, they were down! <laughs> and when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down! <laughs> Hey, tippity toppity marching, everyone! That was fun! Oh, All right, off we go! Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had ten thousand men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up! And when they were down, they were down! And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down! <laughs> Goodness me, am I missing something? Yes, Roly, we've been marching up and down. Oh, 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 well, I never. Oh, it's lots of fun, Roly. <laughs> oh, well, it's good to see such happy, smiling faces. Now then, would this be a good time for a story? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> right -o. you go and settle down, and I'll be back in a Roly Mo. <laughs> when you take a look inside a book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs, a monkey who says boo. Ooh. Wonderful things 
giants and kings, and maybe a thimble or two. Oh, now what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Come on, everybody, it's story time! Yay! <laughs> It's the story time of day. Time to take a break from play. So settle in your special chair. We'll sit here. And you sit there. Dory, <laughs> Dory. <laughs> here we are. Yay! <laughs> now, are you sitting comfortably? Oh, <laughs> yes. Good. Then I'll begin. This story is called Miles of Smiles. One day, Molly woke up in a bad mood. She looked outside. It was grey and cloudy. Hmm, said Molly. Mum made a smiley face out of jam on Molly's porridge. Molly didn't like porridge today. You always like porridge, said Mum. Hmm, said Molly. Molly went into the living room to be on her own. But Dad came in to cheer her up. He tried to stand on his head and fell over. He leapfrogged over the coffee table. Molly still didn't smile. Oh well, said Dad, and went out again. Good, thought Molly. It was Marinda and her dad. Marinda's in a bad mood, said her dad. Now I feel in a bad mood as well. Let's have a competition said Molly's mum. Who can do the grumpiest face? So everyone tried to look really grumpy. The dads were very good at looking grumpy. Molly's mouth started to turn up a little bit. Marinda was staring at Molly's dad. She thought he looked very funny. Then Marinda started to smile. No, said Molly's mum. No smiling. This is a grumpy competition. But soon everyone was smiling because they all looked so funny. OK, now it's a smiling competition, said Molly's mum. Molly and Marinda won two stickers because they had the biggest smiles. And every time Molly felt grumpy, she thought of her dad's funny face and she smiled again. Oh, what lovely smiles! What makes you smile? Oh, bouncing makes me smile. Um, crumble crackers make me smile. Ah, uh, pump smile. Tender Oh, 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 I've just thought of something to make us all smile. Oh, sing, sing. I could play my trumpet and we could all march round again. <laughs> what a lovely idea. That sounds like a parade. Oh, you could have... A parade. Oh, yes, a parade, a parade. Oh, yes, let's have a parade. Uh, um, uh, what exactly is a parade, Rowley? Oh, oh, oh. Well, there's lots of singing and lots of marching. Ah, parade, parade. And everyone dresses up. Oh, did somebody say a parade? Oh, I love all that music and marching and colourful costumes. <laughs> Look what I've got! Oh, just right for a parade. Mm. <laughs> thank you, Fi. <laughs> oh, thank you, Flory. Now, are we all ready for the parade? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Off we go! <laughs> Come and riddle too. 
Here comes Flurry. Toot toot, check check, toot toot. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, it's time for the parade. When music will be played, we'll march along and sing a song, and everyone will wave. Oh, we'll knock me down with a feather. My little chick leading the parade. Oh, I'm so proud. Oh, it's time for the parade. When music will be played. Watch along and sing a song and everyone will wave. Here comes Finbo. Come and ribble too. Here comes Flurry. Toot toot, shake, shake, toot toot. Here comes Finbo. Come and ribble too. Here comes Flurry. Toot toot, check check, toot toot. <laughs> oh, it's time for the parade. When music will be played, we'll march along and sing a song, and everyone will wave. Hello to you. How do you diddly do? Oh, I bet you're surprised to see me. My friend Rowley Bo asked me to come specially early today because today is a really special day. Come with me and find out why. Ready? Then off we go! <laughs> yum, 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 tea, yum. Oh, hello there. And how are you today? I'm just making some very special things for a very special person. Hippity hoppity hoo! How do you diddly do? Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, oh, hello there, Rocket. Have you told our friends what we're doing today? Yes, I have. But I haven't told them who we're doing it for. I am the shh frog. Well done, Rocket. See if you can guess who the special person is. I've made moly munchies and guacamole. Now I've just got to make the cake. Oh, yummity yum! What can I do, Rowley? Well, you can go and see what Hugo and Migo are up to. Righty ho, Rowley! Back in a hippity hop! <laughs> oh, this is an exciting day. Hmm. Mm. Toot toot, you snoots! Rocket, rocket, rocket! In my pocket! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. What are you doing? We're making decoration. Oh, tippity toppity, I'll help you. I am the decorating frog. Then let's -a go go! So, what are you doing, Migo? I'm decorating this piece of paper. Ooh. <laughs> I'm going to put the tinsel up. And I'm going to make some paper chains. Ooh, I do like special days. <laughs> My very special day goes like this. My very special day starts with a kiss. My very special day is being with you. My very special day is playing with you too. My very special day is always the same. My very special day is snickling in the rain. Splash, splash! My very special day is not having to wash. <laughs> My very special day is something good to eat. <laughs> My very special day, a special tea time to read. <laughs> My very special day, yummy, yummy, yum! My very special. Special day 
Ugarific. Yes, Ugarific. <laughs> uh, oh, hello, everybody. <laughs> what do you think, Rowley? Oh, dear. Oh, uh, it's a very good rocket. Very good, I think. Anything else we can do to help? Uh, well, um, why don't you go and get a story rocket while I just finish off the decorating? Oh, tippity-toppity, I am the story-reading frog. I'll be back in a hippity-hop. Hey! <laughs> story time with Rocket the Frog. Our favourite time of day! <laughs> When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs, a monkey who says boo. Ooh. Wonderful things, giants and kings, and maybe a thimble or two. Who know what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Books over here, books over there. Find me a book with a story to share. Ha! Can I have a special tippity toppity story? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Hey, moly mo, Rowley. That is tippity toppity tidying up. Oh, thank you, Rocket. I wonder if our friends have worked out why it's a special day yet. Time for another clue, I think, Rocket. Oh, yes. Ooh. Rowley's made a cake. Ooh. You go and me go have made decorations. And I've got another clue here. Listen carefully and see if you can guess. <laughs> Are you sitting comfortably? Yes! yes! Good. Then I'll begin. <laughs> Baby Martha was nearly one year old. Her brother Josh wanted her to have a birthday party. But Mum said no. Martha doesn't understand birthdays, she explained. She's too little to have a party. Josh was very disappointed. He wanted to do something really special for his baby sister. Josh and Mum went shopping to buy Martha's presents. Josh chose a pink cuddly rabbit with soft floppy ears. On the way home, Josh thought about Martha's birthday. I bet you'd like to go to a party, he whispered to the rabbit. Suddenly, he had a brilliant idea. The next day was Martha's birthday. She wanted to play with Josh, but he was busy doing something in his bedroom and he wouldn't let anyone see, not even Mum or Dad. Please, can you blow this balloon up? Josh asked Mum. What do you want it for? It's a secret, replied Josh, and he dashed back into his bedroom. A little later, he came out again. Have we got any ribbon? he asked Dad. What do you want it for? Wait and see, answered Josh. At last, Josh was ready. He threw open the door. His bedroom was decorated with streamers and balloons and all of Martha's toys were sitting in a big circle. It's party time, he cried. Martha went straight to the pink cuddly rabbit and gave it a big hug. Dada, she said. I think that means thank you, smiled Dad. Mum brought in the cake and everyone sang happy birthday to Martha. Then Josh helped Martha unwrap the rest of her presents. Martha didn't understand any of it, but she had a lovely time. And everyone agreed that Josh had given her the best birthday party ever. Lovely. Do you know why it's a special day today? I know, I know. I know too. I know too. Oh, come on then, tell us. It's someone's birthday. <laughs> is it? Can you guess whose birthday it is? Hello to you. How do you do? <laughs> it's Little Bo. Quick, hide. Hello, 
to you? <gasps> Look at these decorations. They're beautiful. But where is everyone? <laughs> Boo! Boo! Happy birthday! To you! Little bow. <laughs> Thank you. It's my birthday today. Hey, did you guess? Did you? Did you? Hey, hey. Oh, oh, oh. Happy birthday, little bow. <clears throat> <sighs> Have you looked in your busy book yet, little bow? Oh, no. Busy book, busy book. Let's take a look. Someone is hiding. Who can it be? Is it a thimble? Who can you see? What are we going to do today, Fimbo? Look, Baby Pom's got a present. I wonder what it is. It's got a very long, thin bit at the top. And a big, round bit at the bottom. I know that sound. What is it? It's a guitar. Flory's got a present. What do you think it is? Let's see if we can guess. Do you know what that sound is? Is it a car? It's a toy car. Well done. Thimbo has got a present too. It's round. What can we think of that's round? <laughs> present is bouncy too. What can we think of that's round and bouncy? A ball. Balls are round and they're bouncy too. It's a ball. What's that? Rocket. Happy birthday, little bow. Thank you, Fimbo, Flory and Baby Pom. And thank you for my lovely decorations, too. I've got something else for you here, little bow. It's a banana cake. <gasps> a pajama cake? <laughs> oh, that's my favourite. Uncle Rolly, you are the moliest. Oh, oh, oh little bow. <laughs> It's your birthday, little bow. Hip, 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 hip hooray. hooray! It's your birthday, little bow. It's, it's a very, very special day. day. It's your birthday, little bow. And we just came to say Happy birthday to little bow. Happy birthday to cake now. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been a special day today. Yes, yes it's, it's been, been a roly moly day. You will come and join us next time in Fimble Valley, won't you? Now it's time for us all to go. Cheerio! 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 <laughs> oh, hello there. Look, Pom's making something. <laughs> What do you think it is? <laughs> it's tall and pointy. It's a tall, pointy thing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Look, Ribble, it's all sparkly now. It's a tall, pointy, sparkly thing. <laughs> oh, Pum, that's tippity toppity. Uh, what is it? Oh, it's a hat. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, it's a hat. A tall, a pointy, sparkly hat. <laughs> I think that it looks like the sort of hat a frog might wear, don't you, Pum? Oh, yes. <laughs> thank you, Pum. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Hello, have you seen Rocket's hat? <laughs> 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 oh, hello. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm getting the fimbling feeling. Uh, I'm going to find something. Yeah. I can feel a twinkling. I can hear a sound. It's telling me there's something waiting to be found. Where is it? Where is it? What could it be? I think it might be over there. Let's go and see. There is something to be found here, but where is it? Is it here? How is it there? Oh, can you see it anywhere? Um, oh, look, some pictures <laughs> of a cat <laughs> and, um, a caterpillar. <laughs> oh. 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 Hello, Bessie. Oh, hello, Fimbo Luffy. Uh, look what I found. Pictures. Uh, here's a cat. Ooh. And this is a caterpillar, isn't it, Bessie? Oh, yes. What's next, then? Oh, <laughs> that's easy. Ah, uh, a leaf. <laughs> so it is. A big green one. <laughs> and a puddle. <laughs> oh, dear. It's raining in that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's that cat again. He's very wet now. <laughs> And here's the cat and the caterpillar sitting under the leaf. And it's raining. I say, Fimbo, I think these pictures might be telling the story. Uh, a story? Oh, how exciting. Uh, I I'm going to show the others my pictures. <laughs> Ta-ta for now, Fimbo. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, 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 pictures! Oh, Flory, have you seen my pictures? Oh, oh, are these your pictures, Fimbo? Oh, yes. The wind blew them away. Bessie thinks they tell a story. A story? Oh, how exciting! <laughs> uh, let's put them all in a row and you'll see. Oh, OK. Right, here we are. Um, here's a leaf. Oh, uh, I don't think that's right, Flory. Uh, there was a cat first before. Oh, 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 here's a cat, Thimbo. Yes, but the cat wasn't wet at the beginning of the story. <laughs> I wonder how he got wet. Hmm. This story doesn't work very well, does it, Flory? Oh, oh, let's ask Foley. He knows lots about stories. Oh, did I hear someone mention a story? Oh, hello, Roly. Look, I found some pictures, but they got all mixed up, and now we don't know what the story's about. Oh, well, let's see now. A leaf, a wet-looking cat, a caterpillar. Hmm. You know, I think I know what story this is. Does your story begin with a cat, too? Yes, I believe it does. Oh, good. Can you tell us the story, Roly? Very well, then. Are you ready? Oh, yes, oh, yes Roly. Roly. <laughs> good. Then I'll begin. This story is called The Cat, The Caterpillar, and The Big Green Leaf. Once there was a cat with beautiful fur. He kept it very clean and shiny. Look at my beautiful fur, said the cat, and gave it an extra lick. One day, the cat went for a walk, with his nose in the air and his tail held high. Whoops! He nearly tripped over something. It was a caterpillar. Be careful where you walk, caterpillar, said the cat. I nearly fell over and spoilt my beautiful fur. Sorry, cat, said the caterpillar. I'm looking for something to eat. I'm so hungry. Oh, I've had my breakfast, said the cat rudely. Now, would you move so I can go on with my walk? The cat 
caterpillar wriggled along until he found a big, juicy green leaf. Hooray! said the caterpillar and began nibbling. The cat walked on, his nose in the air and his tail held high. Then it started to rain. Oh no! said the cat. It's raining. My beautiful fur is getting wet. He ran back and saw the caterpillar on his leaf. Hello, cat, said the caterpillar. You look wet. The cat looked at the big green leaf. The little caterpillar had only nibbled a small hole. The caterpillar felt sorry for the cat. He didn't look so beautiful now. Why don't you shelter under my leaf? He said. Oh, thank you, said the cat. So the kind caterpillar nibbled the leaf and the cat sheltered from the rain until the sun came out at last. Oh, oh thank you, Rolly. I like that story. Yes, I could understand that story. At first there was a cat. Oh, oh then a caterpillar. And the caterpillar found a leaf. And then it started raining. <laughs> the cat got very wet. <laughs> and the kind caterpillar stopped eating his leaf and let the cat sit under it so he didn't get any wetter. Well done, you two. Mm. I think Pom would like this story. I, I wonder where she is. Oh, let's go and find her. <laughs> hello, Pom. Hello, Rocket. Oh, hello, hello Bessie. Bessie. I'm looking for my little fluff ball. Have you seen Ripple? <laughs> Do you know, I think I can hear him, but I just can't see him anywhere. Do you know where he is? <laughs> look, look, Bessie. <laughs> <laughs> Well, flap me wings. There you are, my gorgeous chickadee. <laughs> Ripple hat. <laughs> Where did you get that hat? Where did you get that hat? Isn't it a special one? Yes. The best hat in the world. Yes. Everybody wants one. <laughs> Just the same as that. Wherever you go, they shout hello. Have you seen Ripple's hat? <laughs> Find Pom anywhere. Hello, you ones. Oh, there you are, Pom. We want to tell you our story. <gasps> story, story. Oh, hello, everyone. So it's story time, is it? Well, sort of. Um, I found some pictures. Well, they're not just pictures. They're a story. Oh, story. <laughs> are you going to tell us a story, Fimbo? Oh, yes, I am. Uh, with a little help from Flory and Rolly. <laughs> <laughs> um, here you are, Pom. Uh, can you hold the pictures? Thank you, Fimba. Now then, baby Pom, are you sitting comfortably? Yes. And what about you, Rocket? Oh, yes, indeedy. Good. Then we'll begin. Once there was a cat with beautiful fur. Meow, meow. I'm a cat, a beautiful cat. Look at me. I'm... Mm, lovely. <laughs> cat! <laughs> oh, a tippity toppity cat. Oh, well done, Fimbo. One day, the cat went for a walk. Here I go. <gasps> Me ow! Oops, he nearly tripped over something. It was a caterpillar. Oh, sorry, Flory. Oh, Fimbo, I'm a caterpillar. I'm not Flory. Look! <laughs> a wiggly caterpillar. <laughs> That's right. Be careful where you walk, caterpillar, said the cat. Go on, Fimbo. Say it. You're the cat. Oh, sorry. Mm, be careful where you walk, caterpillar. Oh, I know the next bit, Rolly. <laughs> uh, sorry, cat. I'm looking for something to eat. I'm so hungry. <laughs> but the cat didn't care, did he, Fimbo? <laughs> he just kept walking on. Oh, yes. Um, 
I've had my breakfast, so move out of the way. I'm going on my walk. <laughs> <laughs> the caterpillar wriggled along until he found a big, juicy green leaf. I'm a leaf. Oh, lovely, juicy leaf. Let me nibble you. Yum, 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 yum. The cat walked on, his nose in the air, and his tail held high. Meow! But then it started to rain. Ka-splosh! Ka-splosh! ka Oh, no! I'm getting wet! My whiskers! My whiskers are dripping! Ka-splosh! <laughs> Ka-splosh! The cat ran back and saw the caterpillar on his leaf. <laughs> you look wet, cat. Hmm, yes, caterpillar, I am. My whiskers are dripping. <laughs> the caterpillar felt sorry for the cat. Oh, oh, poor cat. Why don't you shelter under my leaf? Oh, meow! It's lovely and dry in here. So the kind caterpillar nibbled the leaf and the cat sheltered from the rain until the sun came out at last. Hooray! <laughs> oh, that's the end of the story, Pom. <laughs> hey, tibbity tubbity story ho! Just like the ones in your books, Rowley. Oh, yes. Books have lots of stories in them. And there are lots of storybooks here. This is a library. Oh, are those all storybooks, Rolly? Yes, Fimble. They've all got stories in them. And lots of pictures, too. <laughs> that library's got more books than you have, Rolly. <laughs> books over here, books over there. Books, books everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Libraries have books about all sorts of things. Do libraries have books about frogs, Rowley? <laughs> they certainly do. Oh, tippity toppity. Dory, Dory! Oh, she likes that story, doesn't she? Now they're going to take their books home to read. And when they finish reading them, They'll bring them back and swap them for some more books. Hmm. Look! Look! Oh, careful, Pom. We might get the story all mixed up again. I think I know how to stop the pictures getting mixed up again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hello, Ribble. <laughs> <laughs> well, I never ribble. <laughs> That's a very fine hat. <laughs> oh, oh, where did you get that hat? Where did you get that hat? <laughs> oh, oh, look, I've made a book. I made some holes in the pictures and put the string through them. Well, well, look at that. You've made your very own book. Oh, but it needs a picture on the cover. Oh, oh can you draw something, Fimbo? Oh, yes, Flurry. Now, um, what shall I draw? <laughs> Ponyo! Cat! Oh, a caterpillar! <laughs> Why don't you draw both of them, Fimbo? That's a good idea. There, a book all about the cat and the caterpillar. <laughs> and do you know what we're going to do with our book, Rolly? Um, are you going to read it? No, Rolly, we're going to give it to you. Oh. <laughs> it can be your book to keep with all your others. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, I shall be very proud to put it on my bookshelves. I think it's going to be one of my favourites. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get that book? Where did you get that book? You can read it out to us. Oh, will you read it out? Whenever you like, Fimbles. Show us all the pictures. We'd like to have a look. Oh, Rolly Mo, we'd like to know. Where did I get my book? <laughs> Yay! Ho, 
Now, where did you get that book? Where did you get that book? You can read it out to us. Oh, will you read it out? Oh, everybody join in. Show us all the pictures. We'd like to have a look. Oh, Rolly Mo, we'd like to know. Where did I get my book? <laughs> oh, 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 lovely. Oh, I got it from you. And thank you all very much. Oh. Hello to you. How do you do? It's a lovely sunny day in Fimble Valley. <laughs> I've been doing reading at school and I'm going to ask Uncle Roly if I can borrow one of his books today. Ready? Then off we go! <laughs> Oh, hello there. And how are you today? I'm just watering my Wibbly Wobblies. Oh, come on, Wibbly Wobblies. Give us a wobble. Oh, aren't they fantabulous? Hello, Uncle Rolly. Oh, hello there, little bow. I was just showing our friends my Wibbly Wobbly flowers. <laughs> hello, Wibbly Wobblies. <laughs> Uncle Rolly? Yes, little bow? Can I borrow one of your big books? I want to have a go at reading it all by myself. Of course you can, little bow. Off you go. <laughs> Let's a go go! <laughs> I know that little Bo is reading quietly in the bedroom. Reading? Yes. A story? Yes. In, in the, the bedroom? bedroom? Yes. Quietly. Quietly? quietly? Then let's a go go! Amigo! <laughs> quietly now. Oh. Oh. I wonder what's in my big book. A story. What sort of story is it, little bow? I don't know yet. Oh. oh. Is it a really, really, really... Really, really, really... Good one. <laughs> I'm sure it is, but I haven't opened it yet. Go on, then. Open it. <laughs> is it a funny one? Will it make us laugh? I don't know. Now, shush, please. I need a bit of peace and quiet. Maybe it's got snoots in it. Or moles! Or even a thimble or two. <laughs> <laughs> well, we won't know until I've read it. It could be a fairy story. Oh, 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 I love, love, love fairy stories. Fairy stories are munchy, crunchy, velveteeny, delicioso. <laughs> All aboard the Fairyland Express. It's so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> 
Would you like to guess who we'll meet? Or where we'll go? Perhaps a prince will say hello! All aboard the Fairyland Express! <laughs> Could be a princess in there fast asleep If only that fairy had not cast her spell Hooray, here's the prince! And soon all will be well All aboard the Fairyland Express It's so exciting! Would you like to guess who we'll meet? Or where we'll go? Perhaps a prince will say Hello! There are castles and mountains, and look, there's a wood. Could that be Goldilocks or Red Riding Hood? And see, there's a beanstalk, but I can't see Jack. Oh, there is his mum wondering when he'll be back. All aboard the Fairyland Express. It's so exciting! <laughs> Would you like to guess who we'll be? Oh, where we'll go? <laughs> Perhaps a prince will say... Hello! Hello, all aboard the Fairyland Express! <laughs> so, how is little Bo getting on with her reading? Very well. Very, very, very! Very, very, very! Very well! Oh, good. And what's her story about? Um, we don't know. Yet, she said she wanted some peace and quiet. Is that Carrots, Rolly? Oh, well, not really. Only if the peas and carrots aren't making any noise. You <laughs> what? Oh, uh, let's have a look in Little Bo's busy book, shall we? Busy book, busy book. Let's take a look. Someone is hiding. Who can it be? Is it a thimble? Who can you see? It's Fimbo. What are we going to do today, Fimbo? Look, a helicopter. Listen to the sound it makes. This is a loud and quiet game. Look, there's a mouse. Is the mouse loud or quiet? The mouse is quiet. A trumpet is loud. That's right, trumpets are loud. Look, a ladybird. Is the ladybird loud or quiet? The ladybird is quiet. That's right. The ladybird is quiet. That's a fluffy cloud. Is it loud or quiet? It's really quiet. We've got loud things. And we've got quiet things. Have we got more loud things or more quiet things? Let's see. We've got one, two... Two loud things! And one, two, three... Three quiet things. There are more quiet things than loud things! Thank you, Fimbo. See you again soon. Ah, now we know all about peace and quiet. Peas and carrots! We'll never be noisy again. Never! Never, never, never! <laughs> My story is called The Singing Donkey. What do you know? Little Bo! Oh, I know that I'm never going to be able to read this book. Oh, it's all right. We know all about peace and quiet now. <laughs> yes, we do. Time for some peace and quiet. Good. <laughs> It's very quiet. It's very, very quiet. It's very, 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 shh! Quiet. Oh, there you all are. How are you getting on, little Bo? Fine, Uncle Rolly. I know that the story is called The Singing Donkey, and I've opened the book... Mm, I see. And we're being really PC and quiety. Oh, yes, I definitely see. Well, I think what you need to do now is to sit on my special 
peace and quiet cushions. Peace and quiet. <clears throat> peas and carrots. <laughs> there we go. Now, little Bo, would you like to read us your story? Oh, all right, Uncle Rolly. Story time with little Bo. Our favourite time of day. Now, are you all sitting comfortably? <laughs> Good. Then I'll begin. Once there was a little donkey with long ears, a funny straw hat and a very loud voice. He loved many things. Carrots for breakfast, the smell of hay in summer, blowing dandelion clocks into his soup. But most of all, he loved to sing. He opened his mouth as far as it would go and sang at the top of his voice. And his teeth glistened and his tonsils wobbled. Ah, <coughs> ah! Oh, oh, sang the donkey. Shh, said the cow. What do you mean, shush, said the donkey in a very loud voice. I mean, shush, said the cow. Your singing is so loud my milk is turning into cheese. Oh dear, what can I do, thought the donkey who did not like cheese on toast one bit. He went to see the wise owl who was the best singing instructor in town. The owl was busy reading his treehouse book. Shh, said the owl. What do you mean? said the donkey in a very loud voice. Try and sing more quietly, less fortissimo, said the owl as he fell out of the tree. So the donkey sang as quietly as he could. Pardon? said the rooster. I can't hear what you're saying, matey. I'll show you how it should be done. Cock a doo doo doo! sang the rooster. sang the donkey so loudly that the rooster fell over backwards into the pond. One morning, the donkey woke up and found that he had lost his voice. He looked under the cat. He looked in the forest, he looked in the fridge, but his voice was nowhere to be found. Everyone uncovered their ears and waited for that e or donkey noise, but no sound came out of the donkey's mouth. Something is wrong, said the cow. This is very strange, said the rooster. Oh dear, said the dog, the donkey has stopped singing and it's making me feel all wobbly. After a long discussion, the animals decided they missed the donkey's singing and life would not seem right until the donkey started singing all over again. The donkey stood on his head, crossed his toes and remembered that he'd left his voice under the bed. Sing, donkey, sing, said the owl. Sing out loud. I will, said the donkey if you will all join in. So the donkey sang, the cow played the trumpet, the rooster played the tambourine, the dog banged the drum and the owl conducted and no one ever said shh to the donkey ever again. Yeah! Did you enjoy that? Mm. <laughs> Thank you, little Bo. And now it's time for tea. Oh, what's for tea, Uncle Rolly? Peas and carrots, of course. <laughs> Peas and carrots. Peas and carrots. <laughs> Haven't we had fun today? Yes, it's, it's been, been a roly moly day. You will come and join us next time in Fimble Valley, won't you? Now it's time for us all to go. Cheerio! Cheerio!